The Manchester City midfielder Jack Grealish joined TalkSport Breakfast after winning his third Premier League title in a row. Uh, he said that he feels vindicated after winning those titles. Gabs, as soon as I left Villa, which was, you know, one of the toughest decisions yeah. that I've ever had to make, you know, um, I wanted to win stuff, you know, and I've come here now and I've, I've you know, fortunately lived, you know, a lot. Um, you know the club, even the club World Cup and uh, and and trophies like this. Um, but the Premier League, you know, was the main one that I wanted to win. You know, because us, you know, being from England, growing up here, um, it was just the one trophy that I was desperate to win. And you know, to win three in a row is is unbelievable. Um, I'll be honest with you. When I first signed here, I didn't think I was I was going to win three in a row. Um, but yeah, no, it's been unbelievable. You know, I don't take any of it for granted, and um, and you know, hopefully, hopefully, more to come. That mm. was Jack Grealish then, who joined Talksport Breakfast uh, alongside his friend Gabby Agbonlahor. Yeah, uh, as well as those league titles, he's won an FA Cup, the Champions League, a Super Cup, and also the FIFA Club World Cup. However. This season, he's only started 10 times in yeah. the league and had a further 10 substitute appearances. Uh, if you look at his, uh, his stats since he moved to City, starting in his first season, 26 appearances, three goals, three assists. Last season did better, 28 appearances, five goals, seven assists. This time, as I mentioned, just 20 appearances, three goals and one assists. A one assist, I should say. I mean, those stats are, are not really equaling of a, of a player worth £100 million, pounds, sadly. Yeah. And, you know, how does he feel yesterday when he's not chosen in the lineup? Um, the first no. sub is called on is Doku uh, in front of him as play that left side, which Jack, has, you know, relishes. Um, and he's found himself third, third choice. Um now we could we could make a case. Well, okay, it was a tactical decision because maybe Pep felt that pace was the thing he needed, and and Doku certainly got that. That he he can take on a player in a one on one situation. Um, the reason why Jack mm. didn't get in. Mm. The, the bottom line is Jack is not really in City's best eleven. That's it. He's like you said. If you go through the numbers, Nat, in the league and all that, 146 games, 39 as a sub. Mm. So a third of the games he's sub. For, for for Man City. So Jack's going to have to make a decision. And yes, he's won things. But how how much do you think you're responsible for winning things if you've only played 20 games and 10 as sub, 10 starters in the season, and then you've scored three goals? You don't feel like you're one of the main players. Mm -hmm. He went from Aston Villa. He was the main man. He's joined Man City and he's an afterthought now with Pep. Yeah, Maybe that's a bit harsh. Yeah, it does seem harsh. Because Jack's harsh. a great player, but he should be he should be in a starting eleven. I don't mean Man City's. I mean he should be wanted. But it was it was playing. always going to be going from being the big fish in a small pond to a small fish in a big pond at yeah. City. It was always going to be that. Okay. Um, regardless of being a hundred million pound player, I think it was. It, that's just what City are. They've got that depth. They've got players that they're always bringing in because they're always wanting to strengthen. They're always want to want to go again in a new season with new players. It does feel like that with City. But you're saying then? I mean, and, and one thing I will say is you, you never think he looks unhappy at City. No. And maybe that's just who he is in general. He just seems to be a very happy. He seems a great chap. lad. Yeah. yeah. Um, but would you be saying then he does need to start thinking about... What's Jack about... now, his age, Nat? 27, 28? 20, uh, 27, 28? He is. Good think, question. 27, oh, 28, I think he is. Jack. 28. Yeah, 28. 29 in September. Oh, okay. So now you're at the stage of your career. You want to be playing yeah. as much as you can. And you don't want to be coming off the bench. And there is a downside to it as well, Nat, that we could... Have, yes, he's won these trophies, which is fantastic. That's but, why he's left. But he's also lost the opportunity of making the England team. Because he's not been in Gareth Southgate's best 11. Yeah, so that, you kind of answered it with what I was going to say there. Yes, you're right. You want to be playing week in, week out. But don't you want to be winning trophies, ultimately? Don't you want to be retiring and yeah. going, look at what I've it's won? fantastic. Even if it's just 20 appearances, I still played my part. Yeah, I just think players, and I think Jack is certainly in this mindset, where he will think he wants to be the, the player, the ultimately that makes a difference. And, you know, he's... You know, he's an exciting player. He's a player that can come on and change a game in a moment. He's got great skills. And, and being a bit part, bit part player, I don't think sits well for Jack. I might be wrong. You mentioned England. And certainly before Gareth Southgate named his provisional Euro squad, 
33-man squad, which will have to be cut to 26, so seven have to go. But even before it was announced, a lot of people were speculating that maybe Grealish hadn't made that that initial no. squad. Do you think he will still go? Touch and go. He's he's third choice at Man City. Now, people said to me, I, I did the, I did this in my career. I went to the, see a president in France, and I've spoke to people in England as well. And if I thought I wasn't playing, I was going to be a sub. I I said, well, when I was growing up, all I want to do is play football. Mm. I, I want to play. And that you know, there's no guarantee on anybody. But I asked to leave a football club because I was on the bench. And when I was on the bench, I didn't enjoy it. I I found it hard. And yes, I understand the t- team ethic of everything. And there's times you have to sit out. I get all of that. But if you're missing too much football, mm. you don't feel a part of it the same now. You just mm. don't. Yeah. It's like us here and you're not doing stuff and you think, oh, well, you know, you're a second fault if, mm. if you're not being used. That happens in life, and oh, I don't feel like that ever. No, but you're being used. So. I know, but, but, but do you know what, what I mean? If you're if you're an afterthought in a manager, of well, course, I know what you're saying. And and what's the how would you feel when it gets to Monday morning? You think what 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 season? What what's the prospects of me being in the first eleven next season? And the answer for Jack is probably what is was this season. You'll probably be on the bench more often than not. Mm. And I think he's got to make a call on that and go to Pep Guardiola and say. I want to play football, boss. I want to play football regular. I want to be in the first team. Nearly your. I want to be one of the first names on the team sheet. And if I can't get that here, I, I need to move on. Mm. That's how I, right. I see it now. I, well, you know, he's achieved right, a hell of a right. lot. Maybe, maybe it is a summer for Jack Grealish to, to contemplate on what he has to do next. Do you think that's the same for Kevin De Bruyne then? Because his future is up in the air. He course, can't be a sub. Reports suggest that his advisers have met with 10 Saudi Arabian clubs in the Middle East this week. Apparently, De Bruyne is not interested in a mega money move to the Saudi Pro League and actually would favour more of a move to the MLS, so sources Mm. suggest. But do you think his time is now running out at City? I did say earlier that it was a Steven Gerrard moment where, you know, being taken off in a game you're losing and not be expected, and you're one of the best assists, if the best ever, is, that we've seen in the Premier League. You've been taken off. And like I said, the substitution against Liverpool, uh, when it happened this year, um, yes, he had five months of injuries, but he's been playing since the first week of Jan. He's been in that Man City team. And he's. I just felt there it was a defining moment yesterday that he got taken off. And I, I think De, De Bruyne is a completely different animal. I, I think De Bruyne has shown in his career already that... He thinks a bit more deeper and he wants to play. You could never say to Kevin De Bruyne, you're going to be coming in and off, in and off. I don't think he wants that. That's not for him in football. Mm-hmm. Kevin De Bruyne wants to play every minute of every game and he wants to be first on the team sheet. That's how he, he comes across to me. Mm. Okay. As always, the summer transfer window will be busy, I'm sure. Will Kevin De Bruyne be a part of that? We will find out in due course. Weekend Sports Breakfast with Natalie Sawyer and Tony Cascarino. Sunday mornings from 6 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.